Each and every one of us cares a lot about the foods we eat and especially about their taste, because let's face it, no one would succumb themselves to eating food that has frozen or was spoiled, because it wasn't stored properly. Refrigerator temperature is one of the most important aspects you need to keep in mind if you don't want to wake up hungry one morning and notice that all of your vegetables, milk and other foods have been completely spoiled. With no further ado, let's take a closer look at some of the best refrigerator temperatures you should store your food at. Regardless if it's vegetables, milk, seafood and so on. Best Refrigerator Temperature for Milk Grade A milk is carefully packaged, processed and produced so that it abides to certain quality and safety standards. When it comes to pasteurized milk though, it can readily spoil and if not properly protected, it will cause foodborne illness. That is why if you want to make sure that won't happen you should refrigerate it properly. The law says that manufacturers need to keep milk at a temperature of 45 degrees or lower than this, but to properly protect its quality. A temperature below 40 degrees Fahrenheit is required. As you can see, you need to copy them and do the same. Best refrigerator temperature for beer. Now here's a drink some of us might be having right now, but was it stored properly to retain its unique taste? I don't know. The majority of draft beer brewed in the United States is non-pasteurized, so this means it needs to be stored in cold places. For non-pasteurized lager and ale type beers, the temperature to be maintained at is between 36 and 38 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature will go even half a degree beyond 38 degrees Fahrenheit, then the CO2 in the beer will break out and promote cloudy sour beer. Depending on the brand and type of fridge you have, the temperatures inside it will vary quite a lot. The warmest place is generally the door and the top shelf, so you should place the thermometer below the top shelf towards the door, as this will offer you a general indication of the temperature inside your fridge. If you're getting readings higher than 5 degrees Celsius, you should adjust the setting of your fridge to lower the temperature. The crispers for vegetables and fruits will generally be a bit warmer, so that they won't freeze. So if you have lettuce, be sure you'll place it in the crisper to avoid freezing. No one guarantees you'll get the temperature right in the first try, but keep experimenting. If you're storing cheese, then you should know they are variable based on variety. Harder cheeses are fine for 1 to 3 months, while soft cheeses are edible between 10 days to 2 to 3 weeks. So now that you know these things, you won't have to worry about spoiling your beer anymore or even the milk you drink every night before going to bed.